Hi, welcome or welcome back on my channel. I'm always Stefania, aka Dixie LaRouge, aka Namastefi, so uh, you can call me <laughs> with multiple names. Uh, it's been a while since I recorded my last video, but it has been a very busy period of time for me. And uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a topic which is not um, into vintage or not only into vintage section, not in yoga section, section <laughs> and so on. So I want to talk to you about my new tattoo. It's not that. You will see it in some pictures that I will insert into the video because I don't like to pick up my shirt and show to you everything that I have over there. As you've read maybe from the title of this video, the video is about a sternum or chest tattoo, so uh, it's in a very particular part of the body. But while I was thinking about getting my new tattoo and uh, while I was waiting to get my new tattoo, I was searching around the internet about a lot of experiences of people, mostly women, uh, with chest or sternum tattoo. And they were very frightening, <laughs> as I can say. I have just discovered one testimony about uh, getting this kind of tattoo, which was not negative, about the pain, about everything. Uh, and so I like to share to you my experience. If you're thinking about getting a tattoo in this uh, area of um, your body. And if you're a woman, I have to make a premise. So uh, I have a condition called pectus excavatum, which is a condition for which my sternum has grown inward and not in the right position. So I have a big, uh, I can say, depression over here. And so maybe this will maybe this has affected uh, the results and the pain level that I felt, I don't know, maybe it's just the case and maybe I have a high, high pain tolerance. This is a spoiler <laughs> about my experience. So I decided to get this tattoo uh, a long time ago and uh, I decided to get it because I wanted to celebrate this uh, part of my body. I always felt different from other girls, from other women, because I felt, for example, that my uh, ribs were not normal. Uh, I have these very flare ribs that go outward, as you can see. And um, also I have this strange position of my sternum, so I was thinking about being different and I was asking myself, what is different in me. And after a while I discovered that I had this uh, condition three years ago, uh, very late, so I'm 40. Uh, you can imagine how I felt uh, during my whole um, young life. And so uh, after I decided that I would get a tattoo to celebrate this part of my body. And so I started to think about that. And during the thinking about uh, the celebration for my 40th birthday, I decided to get this for my 40th birthday. And so I get it on the 14th of April. Uh, and uh, I went to my usual tattoo studio. Uh, I will leave you the link below to the um, references for my tattoo artist. Uh, I've known him sim since I was 20 years old, so <laughs> it's been a while. And I have seven tattoos and I have done uh, every tattoo there. So I can trust him as a man, but I can trust uh, totally him. So I went there with um, drawing about a month before getting it, I showed everything and we um, booked uh, the appointment for April. So I went after lunch 
and I decided to use the pasties uh, to cover my nipples uh, just to be more um, uh, so to feel more confident about all the process of getting my tattoo. Uh, I know that a lot of tattoo studios uh, give you this kind of nipple covers or use uh, um, the paper to cover, but I want to, to start from the beginning with this kind of protection to be more confident uh, and everything went fine. I purchased the tattoo, the nipple covers from Amazon and they are um, some flower nipple covers that you can put on them and they will stay in place. So uh, we placed the drawing and we started and the entire process from the drawing and uh, the finishing of the tattoo took about three and a half hours. You will see the tattoo in the, the pictures that I will uh, attach here it's medium size it's not little it's not big so it's medium so three hours it's uh, average time for this kind of um, jobs so the first question that a lot of people ask me mostly women is did it hurt and i can say no so the part of my sternum you can see a little bit here didn't hurt at all just a little bit in the center and uh, under so the tattoo is over there didn't hurt at all it hurt a little bit when it was doing this part under one of my boobs so this is everything uh, in uh, a 1 to 10 scale i will say that it was about 4 on 10 um, my tattoo artist was very impressed by that because he was saying to me um, before starting that it will, it will be not so good and maybe it will hurt a lot, but I didn't feel anything. I didn't use any uh, numbing cream or something strange because I don't think that um, this will help the process. and. I think that also after getting a tattoo, maybe you will have this rebound effect of the pain coming back all over the place. So uh, I get all my tattoos without numbing creams or other things like painkillers. I didn't, mm, to, didn't take anything to mm, manage the pain. So I will say a 4 on 10. Under here, five, okay, but not more than five. What helped me to manage the pain? Of course, breathing, you have to breathe uh, deeply and you, have tr you must try to breathe um, in a, a simple way. Don't just force yourself to breathe in a certain way. Uh, try to talk with your tattoo artist about the breathing, the rhythm, and so after a while, will he and you will find the rhythm and everything will be okay. Um, it will, it helped me a lot to be prepared. I have other six tattoos, so I can Im imagine the pain uh, that is like the scratching of a cat. Okay, uh, it's not something like the kneel of a. Um, injection is something more like a uh, scratching so I was imagining this kind of pain in my head and this was it and um, I was very very relaxed and this helped a lot I was staying on the bed and everything went very fine so it was a beautiful experience as all my other tattoos. I always say that this one was the most hurting tattoo in my sand. So it's very small, but uh, it hurt a lot. Maybe I think because it's on a very um, sensible part of the body. So I know that everyone has a different pain tolerance, so you don't have to take my words as the Bible of uh, the tattoos, but uh, I think that I can give you some encouragement. Of course, I will say to you not get maybe this tattoo as your first one, because it is a strange place 
uh, and uh, it's very exposed, you have a lot of bones underneath, your skin is thinner, so maybe it will hurt more than, for example, your arm. Okay, so maybe don't start with it, but uh, you will be totally fine. For my experience, it won't hurt so much as you could imagine. And the most difficult part, as uh, I experienced for all my other tattoos, has been the afterward. So I couldn't wear a bra for two weeks because I hmm, do as my job. My I am a yoga instructor and a personal trainer, so I move a lot, and so the bra will scratch everything over there. So I couldn't um, wear it for two weeks. I'm at, at the end of three weeks, so now I'm wearing it, and this is this was yeah not so pleasant. Uh, I had to wear not my usual clothes, so I had to wear t-shirts that I hate. This is not a t-shirt for me. These big and square t-shirts that I hate, uh, they do not suit my physique, uh, and uh, I was feeling very ugly. So after some days, I decided to purchase two big dresses, and I felt more or less normal, <laughs> but this is my experience. If you like to wear t-shirt, you will, you will be totally fine. You have to wear loose clothes and uh, cotton clothes, so not synthetic materials and fabrics. And of course, the thing that was very uncomfortable was the carrying of the tattoo. So washing it, using the cream and uh, sleeping. I don't have a very big bra. I um, under the first size of my of the bra so I could sleep on the side but I know that a lot of women with bigger uh, breasts um, can't sleep on the side for several days so you will have to think about that um, and of course it was itchy and uh, it was there 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 has been a lot of discomfort after, but uh, it's uh, like all the other tattoo of this size, so uh, it will start to itch, it will start to uh, change, and but after all the whole process about after uh, about ten days, everything was completely healed, and so uh, is it. It was worth it, the wait and the discomfort. So. Of course, I couldn't work out with my students uh, in the upper body. For example, opening and closing my arms uh, it was forbidden with weights. So I had to skip that kind of workout for two weeks. And you have to think about that. Are you an athlete? Maybe thinking about the fact that you can't work out on this part of the body for two weeks will make you think about not getting this tattoo. So you have to think a lot about the consequences of getting this tattoo in this area of the, um, the body. And uh, of course, during my yoga practice, I couldn't stay on my chest. And so I have to adjust just a little bit my practice and my job. But my students uh, have been very kind and they understood everything, so I'm very pleased about that. They weren't judgmental about, oh, what are you doing? They're getting your tattoo and you can't work with us. No, uh, they are very kind and I'm very proud of my audience because they are so, so beautiful. So everything went fine and now I have my beautiful tattoo. So uh, think about these aspects uh, after the first week, maybe you can start to wear a bra. I decided to not wear it for the whole process of healing for two weeks. Uh, maybe you can start with a loose bra. Uh, if you have, for example, big breasts and it's uncomfortable for you not wearing it. Uh, with a bralette or uh, the um, bra of a bathing suit, uh, which is more loose than the other kind of bras and so on. But after a while you will feel very good and you will be fine. Uh, so this is my experience about it. It's been 
positive <laughs> despite all the things that I had to do after getting a tattoo but the day of the tattoo has been uh, I think very um, good I felt comfortable and so maybe if you are not comfortable with your tattoo artist uh, you're a female for example and your tattoo artist is male and you don't know him very much maybe think about that and choose another tattoo artist. For example, in uh, my tattoo artist studios, there's a woman. So maybe uh, I will have the opportunity to choose her uh, to feel more comfortable. I don't have this problem. So, uh, But if you have it, think about maybe choosing another tattoo, tattoo artist. And so this is it. If you have any question, please leave in the comments below and uh, I thank you for watching this video. I hug you all and I hope you to um, have more interactions under my videos and see you very soon.